Boop. Hey, superstars, it's your bestie Scott. We got a very fun commission to do today. Super excited about it. We're gonna do a Ken Griffey Jr. parallax painting from my best friend and big time Griffey collector, Mike from Sticks and Seams. First, we're cutting out the wood with the LaserBot 2000, but that's not really super exciting. So let's get to the fun stuff. I'm kind of surprised that I haven't done a Griffey piece yet. I mean, Mike's been asking me to do one for a couple of years now, so that's partly my fault. But, you know, Griffey's a popular guy in the hobby, and I'd never guessed that I'd get requests for guys like Dan Quisenberry or Hal Chase and Brady Anderson before I got to tackle Ken Griffey Jr. Well, not tackle him. I'm sure he could beat me up, but uh, Mike had plenty of time to dream something up, and he thought it would be cool to do a layered parallax painting of the kid blowing a big bubble. I immediately love the idea. My big question is, how would I do that bubble? But we'll get into that later. I've been doing a lot of these layered parallax paintings lately. I just finished that Cy Young piece and that was really well received. I'm doing this one and there's a couple more in the works. I've mentioned before that I really like doing these because there's not a lot of other artists that do them, especially sports artists. So I feel like they're uniquely me. Mike wasn't sure if he wanted to go this route or a more cartoony marker doodle. And since I like money and these are more expensive than marker doodles, I told him that I'd be happy to do a somewhat cartoony layered piece. Not super cartoony, but more exaggerated than I'd normally do for one of these. The reference itself is really fun, so I didn't have to do too much. Uh, nor does it really have to be perfect because a lot of it will be covered up with a big pink bubble. But how am I gonna do that bubble? Oh man, I, I gotta go ponder that, sit tight. Thank goodness for free YouTube music, right? It keeps me from having to talk for more than 30 seconds at a time. And hey, I think I got that bubble figured out. Actually, Mrs. Reindeer figured it out because she's like a million times smarter than I am. I just have to wait for a little delivery here. In the meantime, let's finish this bad boy up. Look at Griffey's kissy face there. Right now, it kind of looks like a cross between Kenny Lofton and Ricky Henderson, but it'll all work out in the end. You gotta trust the process, you know? Or at least that's what they say. I don't know who they are, but uh, I'm gonna trust that process and I am having so much fun with this. Life is good, man. Work is good, I'm smiling, thinking about how I rocked Franklin batting gloves in Little League in the early 90s and we're almost done. Got the bat knob and that backwards hat, both super easy to paint. Just gotta wait for that bubble gum delivery. There it is, let's get that on there just right. And onto the beauty shot. So this is like a plastic globe for a ceiling fan lamp or something like that. You can find anything on the internet these days. Absolutely perfect for this project. Just look at that. This was just so much fun. Mike, I hope you love it as much as I love working on it. And if not, I know a couple of people that were more than a little jealous of this one, just saying, but you already told me you like it. So I'm really just rambling. Um, thanks again, Mike, for asking me to do this one and your incredible patience. And as always, thank you guys for watching. And um, I guess you can go find a better video to watch now. We'll see you on the next one.